guys, Chris here. Welcome back. So glad you made it. Uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to create texture and paint effects in Procreate. I'm going to cover how to use paint brushes, patterns, uh, digital and scanned overlays to create a really cool texture in an illustration. It's all about wedding dresses. How fun could that be? So I hope you enjoy. I start by pasting in a pattern that I'd already drawn a while ago, and it is a seamless pattern, so I know that all the edges will repeat perfectly, so that way I can scale my pattern and my lace pattern nicely. So I'm gonna actually go in and create a new layer and then start tracing over top to create a lace pattern. So let's quickly go through this. I don't have to worry about tracing exactly because really this is just kind of a shortcut that I'm making for myself. Since I already created it, I can just go in and get, just get the idea. It's a quick and easy way to make some lace. Then I'm going to take that pattern and make a fill layer and then create a clipping mask so that I have a what nice white lace because I had traced it in black. And then I'm going to copy that and paste it into my new document with my lady here. And I'll just hide that layer for later use. Next with the 6B pencil brush, I'm just gonna sketch out the basic design of the dress. So I'm just making some decisions here. I'm gonna give it more of a racer back style with a high neck, why not? And just sort of getting a basic outline of the shape of the skirt. And then I'm going to pick a watercolor brush um, from the 50 Procreate watercolor brushes by Pick by Kate pack. Um, I really like this pack. It's an awesome collection of watercolor brushes. And I'm going to use the watercolor Wet Edge PC4. I'm going to use a neutral beige color. And this way, it really helps with that translucent look and also helps cover up what's happening underneath like her legs and everything. So this way, it uh, I'm just going to build layer by layer, sort of a translucent effect with these watercolor brushes to create a white tool look. Next, I'm going to use the blue and white. And then I'm also going to add a warm pink as well. This way you get kind of a just better than just having stark white you get a little bit more dimension i'm going to adjust the opacity layer so that i can get that translucent look and make the skirt really look and feel like tool then i'm going to start to define the dress by erasing the edges and just sort of to create that shape and i'm going to have to go layer by layer again because i have all these on separate layers and i do this just so that when i am painting the um, initially i just have that really free flowing motion instead of being really confined to a shape and this way i can make some decisions on the fly as well So now I have a basic, the basic shape of the skirt that I want. Then I'm gonna go in with the same watercolor brush, but just a smaller size and make sure that my opacity on my brush is all the way up. And I'm gonna to start to design the bodice detail. So I'm just gonna sort of make some decisions on the fly here. Then I'm gonna bring in my lace layer and I'm going to multiply or duplicate the layer and then put it together like a grid. Again, because it's seamless, the edges will match up perfectly and create a consistent seamless pattern. And then you can see I am duplicating again and merging as I go so I can create a bigger piece of fabric. So 
So I've put the lace layer up. I'm not gonna make the skirt quite yet. The reason why I wanted this lace layer on while I was doing the back of the dress is so that I could coordinate it and make it look cohesive. as I go. and I would like a sheer sort of look with the lace overlay so I'm just going to use my the opacity on the layers to change that. Next I'm going to go in and erase each layer of the tulle at the bottom of the skirt and this is going to be really handy because it will end up looking like different layers of tulle in real life. It is a little bit tedious, so it would be nice to do it all at once, but it doesn't give you that look. So again, just going and making it all irregular, you don't want it to be uniform, it just wants to be all varied and that will give that um, sort of a, a volume look to it. my lace layer back on and start to create the shape of the lace overlay and make some decisions here on how wide I want it, how stiff I want it to look, and again just by erasing what I don't need. very same watercolor brush that I've been using in a really small size I'm gonna go and line all the edges and that will give it a more realistic look of a stiffer lace overlay back to the bodice again I really like to bounce back and forth between different parts of the dress obviously because I'm not using a photo I'm just making it up as I go so it sort of um, evolves and I don't like to commit too much to one part until the other part is ready it all kind of comes together naturally so it's nice just to be um, yeah just fluidly see where it goes so that's why it's not like I finish one part 
first and then move on. It's just a back and forth sort of conversation between the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to bring in um, another piece of lace. I've decided I would like that to kind of match and blend in from the bottom. So I'm gonna take that and erase a bunch of it and just use some pieces of it to fill in the bottom bodice part. And then of course, we'll add some more detail to the edges where the skirt meets the bodice. Just how it naturally would make sense for the fabric to join there. Yeah, we'll want to fill it in and make it a little bit stronger because of course the fabric would naturally be thicker there. And there we go, all finished. A lovely wedding dress with tulle underlay and lace overlay, all very uniquely designed. Hope you enjoyed. Well, that's it guys. I hope you found today's tutorial useful. And that girl is actually part of a larger pack that I made. It's called the Stunning Wedding and Celebration Creator. And you can find it in one of the links down below, along with a freebie, a bunch of freebies actually. It's a free goodie bag of some digital goods that I'd love to give to you. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, it really helps me out and keeps my channel going. So really appreciate your support. So I hope this inspires you to paint something with texture yourself. And I'd love to see it. You can always send me something. And also, I'd love a comment below if you have any other ideas for videos or anything you'd like to see. So again, have a wonderful day. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Hope to see you back soon. Take care.